I am going to try to follow along and um, see if we can work out the kinks for next week then. So anyway, hello, how is everyone tonight? I hope you're all having a great evening. I do apologize again for the delay. I was trying something new and I am more technologically challenged um, than I had thought. So apologies for that. But we are here, we are going to get started tonight and I am going to be working with the beautiful cup of tea bundle. Um, when I first saw this, as I said on Tuesday, I wasn't really sold and why isn't this coming on? There we go. I have to figure out where the camera is so you guys can see everything. Because what I'm seeing on the screen and what I'm seeing on the phone are two different things. There we go. Is that better? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. I'm totally not where I normally am. I'm uh, sitting at a table as opposed to being at my standing desk. So bear with me this evening as we kind of muddle through and try to work out some of these technological differences. But anyway, when I first saw the cup of tea, I was like, mm, not really my vibe. I don't really like it. But the more I looked at it, the more I thought, you know, I really do like it. So I went ahead and bought it and I'm so glad that I did. I'll be featuring this in my June class. And part of the reason I was late too is I was working on the designs for June. So we're going to be working with the whole suite. We have this sweet little um, window card here. So that will be one of our designs for June. We're actually going to have a total of 10 because we're gonna do two each on these beautiful um, cup, uh, tea boutique note cards. Uh, not, they're not note cards, they're full size cards. Tea boutique cards and envelopes. This is the one we did on Tuesday for uh, the lesson at lunch. Again, really sweet and easy little card. And one of my new favorite colors is combos is the Fresh Freesia and the Orchid Oasis. I love these two together. I just think I'm gonna be doing a lot with this color combo. I really, really like it. Um, so let's go ahead, let me show you. So you've seen the cards and envelopes. Let me just show you again. So we saw the, the different cards. They are, you get a total of 20 cards, four in each of the five new in colors. They already have like a pre-printed design on them in one of the new colors. And look at these envelopes, they match, isn't that pretty? So it's really a good deal because you get 20 cards for $10, which is an awesome deal. Um, and then of course we have the T Boutique Designer Series paper. And again, really pretty designs. I don't know why there's such a delay in what we're seeing on the screen, but really pretty. So these are the, you get 12 different designs. They're double-sided. So we've got some florals, we've got teapots and teacups and just some solid color backgrounds. And we've got some Petal pink in there and garden green. And of course, all of the new um, in colors. Love that Tahitian Tide. So really in Fresh Freesia and Daffodil Delight. So we've really got a nice little assortment of colors to work with. And I think that you will really um, like this set. If you haven't purchased it, I would say hurry up. Now the dyes are currently on back order until May 23rd. So if you want to get them, you know, get them soon. But these are the dies. So you get um, a so like a solid teacup die. And then you've got the one that kind of cuts out the filigreed look. And we saw that one on here. So that green, that's the overlay um, for this teacup die. And then you've got one that cuts out the floral. This will cut out the the stamp is one stamp. It will stamp all the flowers together. The die will cut them out separately. You've got a couple of hearts. You've got little tea bags. You've got the, um, the, the, the greenery that's being cut out and a lemon with the lemon overlay. So it's really quite an assortment. There are 17 dies in all. So really quite a lot. All right, let's go ahead and get started tonight. We're going to start with, again, love this color combo. So I kind of made this a simple stamping card. The one for my June class, we're gonna get a little bit fancier with some die cuts, but for somebody who's just starting out, I wanted to show how you could still make the same card, but just use your, your paper trimmer. You don't have to use a die to make this card. So I've just cut here, I've got the base. This is the Orchid Oasis base. I have a piece of fresh freesia that is four and a half by three and a half. And I have a piece of our 
designer series paper that is four by three. So we're just gonna go ahead and we're just going to layer this right over that piece of fresh freesia. Apologies, I'm trying to keep everything up in there. Hi Maureen, how are you? Yeah, it's really, the, they're really pretty. I'm trying to follow along on my computer tonight and see if I could see comments, but these aren't showing me the comments. Uh, bear with me. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, no, my Hold on. Ah. Okay, there we go. Now I can see comments. And of course, I have this bright light kind of glowing in my eyes. This is just not a good setup. I got to figure this out. Trial and error. We'll get there, though. Okay, so now we've got that laid on there. And I wanted to tie a piece of the baker's twine. Oh, and I forgot to show you. We have the in-color baker's twine. It comes in each of the five colors this is parakeet party this is the um this might actually be starry sky i'd have to look at it against the other one i don't know where the rest of them are but it still works with this so i'm going to cut i don't know maybe 10 inches 12 inches i'm just going to cut a piece of the twine and what i like to do is i like to lay down a strip of adhesive on the back of my card and then i like to kind of just put the twine there so I can have it, I can hold it in place. All right, gonna make sure I have enough to tie. Okay, maybe a little too much over there. Move it just a little bit. All right, that should be good. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to put this on my card front because I find it easier to tie once it's already stuck to the front of my card. So I'm just going to go ahead and add this. I don't know why this is ripping tonight. Did you ever have one of those days when just absolutely nothing went right? This has sort of been one of those nights. But we shall we shall overcome. We shall get through this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that right on there. Now I'm just going to tie this in a bow. Now if you don't have one of these little extra hands in your craft room, these reverse tweezers, you need to get one. And I'm wearing a sweater down here because my husband and I are not thermostatically compatible. He likes it really cold and I don't. So it's a little cool in my basement. So I have to wear a sweater down here, even in the summer, because it's really, you could hang a side of meat down here, it's that cold, but that's okay. I figure I can always put on a sweater, right? But if you're too hot, there's not much you can do about it. When you're too cold, you can always just put on another layer. Okay, so we've got this little bow going here. And now I'm going to, I cut out, I punched out, at least I thought I had punched out, using the cloud punch, I had punched And I did also in the fresh freesia because I just thought that looked prettier than the white. And I stamped on it in our Orchid Oasis. And I just stamped, let's get together soon. Okay, and because these are my photopolymers, I do want to bring in my stamp and pierce mat. And I'm just going to stamp, let's get together soon. Now it does, there's no right way to put the cloud. You can put the cloud this way or this way. It doesn't really matter. Um, I just, because of the way the stamp was shaped, I just put the cloud that way. All right, let's go ahead and get this on here. So we're gonna put that, our little cloud sentiment right there okay and then i took some of these in color decorative dots these are matte decorative dots and i just took three of the orchid oasis ones and there these are ombre so as you can see like here this is the orchid oasis you have a little bit darker and it gets to be a little bit lighter so i just took three of these and just kind of put them on in random little spots on my cloud. And that one, oh, that one didn't come off. 
There we go. And there we have our simple stamping card. Again, I love this color combo, Orchid Oasis and Fresh Freesia. It's gonna be one of my new favorites, I think. Really like the way those two colors play together. Let me know what you think. If you think Orchid Oasis and Fresh Freesia are a good color combo. All right, then we're going to step it up and we're going to use a little bit more of our die cuts. And we're going to use another one of our um, card bases, our T-Boutique card bases. We're gonna use our Parakeet Party. And this time, it's again, this is sort of simple, but again, we're using the die cut, so it's getting a little bit more involved. So I took here a piece of our garden green that is two and a quarter by five and a half, and I cut a piece of the designer series paper two inches by five and a half inches. So we're just going to layer those two up, and I'm trying to decide if the lemons have like a right way up, and I think they kind of do, so I have to be careful to make sure I put those up um, the right way because I don't want to have my lemons being upside down. I don't know. It seems like that would be bad luck if you had upside down lemons. I don't know. Maybe not, but it just seems like that's not something you'd want to do. Okay, let's make sure we get this on here. All right, there we go. Now we're just going to layer this right onto our card base, and you could put it right in the center if you wanted. I kind of liked it a little bit off center. Um, I'm gonna come back here on the screen because I don't know what I'm doing down here. So I kind of liked it a little bit off center, so I'm gonna put it maybe about a half an inch from the top. And again, it's personal preference. There is no right way or wrong way to layer these on. It's just what looks pleasing to you. Um, I think that's the most important thing. You know, I really find that crafting is a great stress reliever. And I think that, you know, if you get too caught up in, oh my gosh, it's gotta be perfect. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade and nothing's ever perfect when it's handmade. All right, so then I stamped earlier, I stamped one of our little lemon pieces, our little lemon wedge. And I also did a die cut with um, what I call like the, the outline of the lemon. And I put our um, adhesive sheet on the back first. And the reason I did that is because this is going to be very fine lines. Look at how tiny these are. So, I mean, you could use a fine tip glue pen to put those on. I prefer when I'm doing something that's this sort of delicate. It's not really delicate, but little tiny thin lines. I prefer to use our adhesive sheets. I just think it... <clears throat> makes the pieces easier to work with. So we're just gonna lift that off. And then we're just gonna line this up right on our lemon wedge. And this is Daffodil Delight. I stamped Daffodil Delight on basic white and then I cut the, the I don't know what you wanna call it, the wedge piece out of Daffodil Delight. I don't know what you would call this. The rind maybe? Okay, I'm just trying to line it up here. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so that we have one little piece. Now we're gonna stamp a teacup. Let me get our, and I went with, on this one I went with the leaves, but maybe on this one I'll go with the stripes. Let's see. Let's change it up right now and see how it looks. And I'm going to stamp it in our parakeet party. Just kind of keeping everything in the shades of green for this card. Okay, again, photopolymer, so I like to use my stamp and pierce mat to get a nice, good, clean um, image. And then I'm going to take our teacup die, solid, like what I'm calling the solid teacup, as opposed to the other one that has like those filigree leaves on it. That's another piece that I was, if I was going to cut out those, those filigreed leaves on the teacup, I would definitely use um, an adhesive sheet on the back. Let's move that out of the way for a minute. And let's bring in our mini stamp cut and emboss. And I love these because all of the teacup dies will fit through the mini stamp cut and emboss machine. So if you don't have 
a die cutting machine yet and you want to get started, this is a great way to go. This is only $60, so it's relatively inexpensive. And all of the dies for this set, and I think even like the happiness um, a bound set will go through. So now we've got our teacup cut out. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Let me put my die back in my case. And these, I told you, I don't know if you heard me, these are the um, garage win window magnets. They're four by six, and they work great in our little cases to kind of keep your dies with your stamp. So if you're the person that likes to keep your sets together, this is a great um, way to go. You can get them on Amazon. I forgot, I got like, I think like 30 for maybe 20, $25. They weren't terribly expensive. And you got a really big pack of them. So I thought it was a good deal. Uh, okay, so now we have that. So now we're ready to go ahead and we're going to put on our little lemon wedge. I'm just going to use these. I'm going to put him on with just some stamp and seal. Put that right there. I'm gonna put my little teacup on with some stamp and dimensionals. And that one is sticking to my nail. go. All right, we're going to add this on. Okay. Then we're going to add on, we're going to stamp it with some um, take care of yourself. And I'm going to stamp that in the garden green. And the reason being is because I really want it to stand out because we're going to stamp it right on the bottom here. Okay, we're going to stamp it right here on our on our card front. So there we go. So I like the way the garden green kind of pops out and it kind of ties all of this together. No, and I think I got something on that. Hmm. Now, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and I could stamp. Let's stamp a little, um, do I have enough room here? Let me stamp a little tea bag and we'll have like maybe a little tea bag hanging out of there. I can't find my Stampin' Chamois. Okay, we'll figure it out. Okay, I don't know where all my little blocks were, so we're going to use a bigger block. And we're going to, hopefully, that might be too big. Let's do one of the smaller tea bags. Let's do this one here. And let's stamp that in, hmm, I guess we'll do it in garden green, just to kind of keep everything in those hues of green. All right, let's stamp this here. Boop, we got a little, a little tea bag. We got one of these little tea bag dies. So let's go ahead and cut that out. I put there we go here we go here we go this is really tiny but I think this would be a cute little addition all right careful make sure it doesn't slide off my image I want to try one of those new magnetic plates I just haven't purchased one yet I've got to get that and see how that goes All right, let's take our little, our little tiny tea bag, and we're gonna take some of our, this is our Parakeet Party Baker's Twine. I'm gonna put a little, put a little bit right there. Okay, and then I'm going to have that come here. Now, I'm going to put this on the front of my card with a Stampin' Dimensional. I'm gonna put the Stampin' Dimensional kind of right over that twine. That will help hold our twine in place. And kind of put that like right there. And then I'm just going to kind of tuck this in the back. I'm gonna put, so I can, 
just put a little tiny bit of stamp and seal like right I should have done this before I put the tea bag, the teacup on but we'll get it to work there we go and we'll just kind of tuck that right back in there and now we've got a little cute um, tea bag that's sticking out of our teacup and let's go ahead and add some of our adhesive dots. Let's see where we can put these. Okay. This just doesn't want to get... And now I can use my tip. My, I'm almost out of the adhesive from this. There we go. Okay, there we go. Oh, that doesn't have any adhesive on the back. That's why that's not sticking. Okay. All right. Let's see. Let's see if we can use our darker ones here. We'll put one there. And maybe one there. And maybe another big one over here. And there we have our second card. So I kind of like the way this one came together. It was definitely a rush job tonight, trying to get ready after wasting so much time trying to figure out StreamYard. But I think they turned out okay. Let me know what you think. If you're watching on the replay, please go ahead and let me know where you're watching from. Uh, the registration for my June workshop is open. Like I said, we'll be featuring the Tea Boutique um bundle the dies are currently on back order so i believe they're supposed to come back in on may 23rd but these are our cards that we did tonight and these are the cards that we will be making for class um so i hope you'll think about joining the workshop it really is a lot of fun and i, I love creating with a community i just think there's something about crafting with other people that is just so fun and enjoyable and we really try to create a fun community so if you're looking for a fun community where you just laugh a lot then come join us because we'd really love to have you that's it have a great evening everyone i'll see you next week bye now